both of my parents are sort of balding in their eyebrows. My dad, they stop here and my mom just doesn't have any. So I'm terrified that I'm going to lose my eyebrows at any moment. I am the beauty director at Bazaar.com. And so what that means is that I am in charge of all the beauty content you see. I've been doing this for over six years now, three years at Bazaar. And so I have tried everything you can imagine, every weird facial, every product. I've had some really good skin days and some really bad skin days. This is sort of my routine of today. So it changes every single day because I'm always trying new products. I'll walk you through what I'm loving at the moment and how my routine goes today, but yesterday it was different and tomorrow it could be different because that is the life of a beauty editor. The first thing I do is I pull my hair back. Um, I always hate when <laughs> You can see like hair in their face during a video and I have bangs so those also need to go back. My skin type um, tends to be kind of dry. It, I can get like some breakouts. You'll see I have a couple on my forehead at the moment, um, but it's really combination dry. So I'll have some oily spots and some dry spots. So I'm always trying to just exfoliate and keep my skin looking bright and clear. And because I am so fair, I hold on to redness really easily. But I also see a lot of people start these go to bed with me videos with cleansing wipes. I don't use cleansing wipes in my own routine. A lot of people do and that's cool if it works for you. For me, I just find them to be a little harsh and abrasive. There's um, a lot of preservatives in cleansing wipes to keep them wet all the time. And I also just don't love that they're not super eco-friendly. So for me, they're not my go-to choice, but if they work for you, um, great by all means, but I would love to see more people switch to like uh, cotton rounds or reusable cotton rounds. So speaking of that, I have these cotton rounds here. These are from a company called Brandless. I love them. Um, this is a brand new pack that I just ordered. Um, so the first thing I do is I take off my makeup and then I double cleanse. So to take off my makeup, I use a micellar water. The one I've been currently using at the moment is this La Prairie one, which is probably like $80 billion. Uh, don't quote me on that, but you certainly do not have to spend more than $10 on a micellar water. Uh, here's one from Burt's Bees that's also next in rotation for me. So when I'm done with this one, I'll jump into this one. This one is a rose one. Um, it looks really good and it's available at the drugstore. But since I have already dug into this La Prairie one, let's go ahead. And then I'll take one for my lips and one for my eyes. So double cleansing uh, started in Korea and it's a very cool technique where you use an oil cleanser followed by a foamy cleanser and it really helps to get your skin perfectly clean, get all of the makeup off. So while my skin, I don't wet it because you shouldn't wet your face when you're using an oil cleanser. It just like oil and water don't mix. And the one I'm using right now is Malin and Getz Facial Cleansing Oil. I love basically every cleansing oil. I don't discriminate. So you just really work it into your skin. Get all that mascara off. Okay, so now once you've rubbed it into your face, you go in with water. But as you can see, a lot of makeup is still coming off of my face. And that's why you do a double cleanse because you always think you get all your makeup off, but you don't. So now I do the second step of cleansing and that is this Walita Gentle Cleansing Foam. Again, this product can be something else every other day. Uh, this one I'm just loving at the moment. It's pretty much 100% natural, and um, I love it. It's a very clean formula, and you can get it, I think, at Target, which is great. So then you go in with a foamy cleanser. So then I work that into my skin. I just, God, I love a foamy cleanser so much. They're my favorite thing. <laughs> and it's hard to find a good natural foamy cleanser. So many natural cleansers are oils. And so now, I wash my face again. <laughs> so now that I double cleansed, I just pat my skin dry because I still want to keep a little bit of water on there. So now I'm completely clean. Um, and another myth, if you notice, I didn't talk about like warm water or cold water or anything. I just use lukewarm water. And that's because the biggest beauty myth that bothers me so much is when people say that their pores can open and close. Your pores do not have muscles around them. They're not like individual muscles that can open and close. That's really not true. Um, and the water temperature does not affect that. What's really happening is that the sebum inside of your pores can react to the warmth and sort of sort of melt away since it's oil. Um, and so it can give the illusion of smaller or bigger pores, but really your pores are always the same size. So the next step in my routine, once I am completely 
clean is uh, a toner. I'm obsessed with toners, you guys. I have like seven here that are currently in rotation, but really the one I've been using since I got it in Korea, and it's actually now available at Target, which is really cool, is this AHC Aqua Laronic Toner. And it's a hydrating toner, but it still has a little bit of alcohol in it, so it still gets you that like really clean feeling, but it won't totally strip your skin. I love an exfoliating acid. It works so well for me. I don't typically ever use scrubs or anything like that because I just find them to be incredibly abrasive for my skin. My skin is already so prone to redness. As you'll see, I'll probably turn red and then it goes down quite quickly. And that's because I have reactive skin, but not necessarily sensitive skin. So then my next step is also from AHC. And this one is called an emulsion. So what an emulsion is, if you have dry skin, I think you'd actually really like it. It's the step sort of in between cleansing, toning, and your serums and your moisturizer. So it adds some of that hydration back into your face to sort of prime your skin for what comes afterwards. Because hydrated skin tends to absorb products better than, than dry skin. So then I give that a moment to settle in, and then I'll, I always rub anything that's extra on my hands. So at night, I only use sort of retinol serums or exfoliating serums. I don't use vitamin C at night. Um, I just think vitamin C works better in the morning when you are going to get sun exposure. It helps to sort of protect. I've always loved and continue to love the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I go back to this every couple of months. It's just really good. It's one of those products you put on your face and then you wake up the next morning and you're like, oh, I actually look better. Like, that's awesome. This Le Mer, the concentrate, oh, it's so good. It's like one of my holy grail products. In fact, it's almost empty. Like I could show you, like there's nothing in here. I just feel like when I use it, I notice that my skin feels calmer and like looks calmer and doesn't look as red. So I'll take a little bit of that and I'll work it into my skin. But you certainly do not have to spend however much money that is on La Mer. Um, I just think it's really great. I love hyaluronic acid. It is one of my favorite ingredients, especially as somebody who has sort of combination dry skin. This is from a company called Versed, and they're available at Target. And it's like all vegan, pretty much all natural. And it's a little booster with hyaluronic acid. So you can take it and add it to an existing skincare product. So any product you can add a little boost of hyaluronic acid to it, which I think is kind of cool. I just will put it on my skin as is. So then let's pat that on. And hyaluronic acid holds, I think, a thousand times its weight in moisture. So especially after you just washed your face, it's really good to put it on and pull in that moisture from the outside and keep your skin really hydrated. There is also a myth that oils hydrate your skin. That is not true. Um, oils like hydrate, hydra, water. Uh, oil is not water. So what it does is it protects sort of the lipid barrier on your face and protects your face from drying out. It can lock in some of that moisture from the steps you've done previously, but oils do not hydrate. If you wanna hydrate, you need something like a humectant, like glycerin or hyaluronic acid. And so for me, with dry skin, hyaluronic acid is my go-to. You know, I hear all the time from people like when should I go to a dermatologist and when should I go to an esthetician or a doctor for my skin issues and it really depends I mean if you want a prescription for retinol and you're serious about fighting acne or fighting wrinkles then of course go to a dermatologist get your yearly skin check while you're there and if you want like Botox or fillers I have had both I'm in need of both like look how much I can move my eyebrows <sighs> setting. If you just want to take better care of your skin generally, want a really good cleaning, uh, deep cleansing routine, and then I would go to an esthetician. I have been going recently to Globar, which is a new facial concept in Tribeca here in New York City. I've gone twice now. Um, it's like 30 minute facials in and out. I'm somebody who never really liked facials that much because I feel like I always left my skin much redder and more irritated than when I came in and it felt like my moisture barrier was super disrupted for like a month afterwards. I have not had that experience here. I I did a microdermabrasion about a month ago, and then a few weeks ago I did dermaplaning. So they shaved the entire first layer off of my skin, but my face feels so soft. So dermaplaning was, was fun, I highly recommend it. But really that's when you should go if you are noticing like serious issues with your skin, serious dark spots, hyperpigmentation, acne that just won't quit no matter what product you're using, how many times you wash your face, then you need to go to a dermatologist and set up a game plan. But um, otherwise I think estheticians are great for just general maintenance and learning about cleansing.
So next, um, once my face has all these serums on, sometimes I'll use moisturizer and sometimes I won't. And I think that's kind of funny. I've heard from people that it's odd that I don't always use moisturizer at night. I just think with all of the other products I'm using, like my skin feels really soft and bouncy and I don't necessarily need something else. A lot of times I think my skin looks better the next morning if I haven't applied too many products to it or haven't applied a super heavy occlusive moisturizer on top. So this is a super lightweight one. It's from Belief. It's called the True Cream Aqua Balm. You can see I've used a good amount of it already. And it's just a very dewy hyaluronic acid based formula. So I'll use a tiny bit. I try to avoid my eyebrows too because I've had some brow people tell me that um, when you apply too many products on your eyebrows, it can make your eyebrow hairs fall off. And I don't know if that's true, but both of my parents are sort of balding in their eyebrows. My dad, they stop here and my mom just doesn't have any. So I'm terrified that I'm going to lose my eyebrows at any moment. So I'm a little bit cautious with them. So then once my skin is hydrated, I take this thing. And I know it looks super funny, um, but it's my favorite thing in the entire world. It won a Harper's Bazaar Anti-Aging Award uh, this past year, and it's the MDNA, which is Madonna's uh, skincare line, face roller and body roller. So it's giant. It's not like a typical jade roller that has like a tiny little wheel. Like this one is giant. It just feels so good, especially after a long day. If you carry like a lot of tension in your face, um, I carry a lot of like water in my lower jawline. So I really like to like work my lower jawline. So once I'm done rolling my face, you can also use this as a body roller. I work out six, seven days a week. I do a lot of strength and resistance training, so I can get incredibly sore. So this helps a lot. I can roll it down my quads or hamstrings or like on my arms, um, on the side of my neck. It feels so good. And that's why I love that these are oversized. So it's not just for your face. So then um, I'm gonna brush my teeth because I read your comments and I hear from people all the time that you think it's weird that people don't brush their teeth. So I'm gonna brush my teeth. I know it's not sexy or anything, but it's very important. I think there are people who don't brush their teeth twice a day and that's crazy to me. If I could brush them 15 times a day, I would. So I just wrote a huge package and feature on clean beauty products, which is why I have some clean picks throughout my routine right now. One of the most interesting things I reported was about toothpaste. I've been sort of convinced that I don't need fluoride in my toothpaste anymore. Uh, we have fluorinated water here in New York City, so I'm just trying to reduce my exposure a little bit. It's not for everyone. If you have cavities and issues, like keep going with the fluoride, go for it. But um, I've been switching to a fluoride-free formula. So right now it's Tom's, but it changes every day. I'll go to Whole Foods and see something and order it. And um, I don't know, I like this one. You don't have to sacrifice taste or texture or anything for a natural toothpaste. Then I'll floss, and I know flossing isn't sexy either, but it's important. And my dentist says I do a good job, so I'm proud about that. So these are from Moon, and this is like Kendall Jenner's new like oral care brand. These are like charcoal, I think, or charcoal inspired. The whole line is charcoal. These are black. I don't know. I think they're kind of chic because they're black, um, but they're just regular flossers. And I try and floss every single day if I can remember. So then after my teeth are brushed and I flossed, I move on to eye cream and lip balm. Eye cream is one of those products that I'm kind of convinced doesn't do anything because there, if there was an eye cream that truly healed dark circles, like everyone would be buying it. They can help. I just don't think they're miracle workers, but because I'm prone to darkness under my eye and some puffiness and wrinkles, um, I use a lot of eye cream. I get Botox in my crow's feet and sometimes when I do that, I can get incredibly dry in that area. So I'm really all about like keeping my um, under eye area moisturized to prevent wrinkles from forming over time. This is the new one from Tatcha. I'm obsessed with everything Tatcha makes. This is the Silk Peony Eye Cream. If something Tatcha comes to the office, I take it home immediately. I love Tatcha. So then I use lip balm. Um, I have two at the moment that I've been loving. Uh, of course, you could use Carmex or Chapstick or anything, but these are cool. This one is from Laneige. It's a lip sleeping mask, and it lasts for like 100 million years. I think I've been using, it's probably expired at this point. I must have been using this one for like eight months. <laughs> um, and this one smells like cupcake icing or something, which is the most delicious smell to go to bed wearing. Um, I'm obsessed, so I'll just take a little bit. Oh my god, it's cupcake icing. I don't understand. It tastes so good. Um, 
And my lips can get really, really dry and really chapped, especially when you get lip injections, nobody tells you that. Then I have sort of two final steps and they're more wellness focused because wellness is part of beauty. So I said that I strength train, resistance train six, seven times a week. Um, I love it, it's my form of therapy, but you can get incredibly sore when you do that. I have had serious DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness, and to help that, I have become obsessed with CBD. I never thought I would like it. I thought it was all complete BS. I um, thought it was placebo effect, but it really does work for muscle soreness. One I've been loving at the moment is this from La La Leaf. It's True Athlete Sports Gel. It has 550 milligrams of CBD. 87% organic and it also has um, like ginger in it which is so delicious like it smells like spicy delicious ginger so this is really really great for really light muscle soreness just like general soreness I'll put it you know on my arms whatever but if I'm having serious issues then this is my holy grail product Laura Jones Royal Oil it is 100% pure um, CBD uh, suspended in I think grapeseed oil if I'm correct, and it's a thousand milligrams per dropper. It is intense. It smells like weed. Like this is weed smell. Like it's unbelievable. It's kind of disgusting, um, but I like that it's so incredibly pure. And so I'll take a dropper full and put it, like I've been having some issues with my forearm, so I'll take some and rub it on my forearm. And within 20 minutes, the pain is gone. And then if I'm feeling particularly anxious or like I can't sleep, I'll take a dropper full, put it under my tongue, hold it there for like 60 seconds and then swallow. And then it makes me just feel really relaxed. And then my final step in my routine is sugar by hair sleep vitamins. I wouldn't say I use them every single night. I'm a pretty good sleeper, but if I'm feeling anxious or um, can't sleep for whatever reason, I take these. As you can see, I only have two left in here and they'll give you a little bit of crazy dreams like you'll feel like you're tripping a little bit in your sleep but they help you to go to sleep and stay asleep and they're also incredibly delicious like they just taste like gummy bears and they're vegan which is exciting because i'm vegan so i'll take two of these gummy vitamins and i'll fall right asleep so thank you guys so much for watching my routine again this is not the way my routine is going to look tomorrow and it's not the way it looked yesterday because i'm always testing and trying something new but i appreciate you guys following along if you have any questions about my routine or being a beauty editor let me know in the comments below and uh, have a good night